Okay, guys, a lot of you who have followed me for years and never became a GetFit AF client, you're probably wondering, even though you don't have to wonder, because I've told you guys for so long how I never get fat, eating like shit. But you see this? Take it from me. I've studied what happens in our stomach. I've studied what happens in our stomach, all the types of stomachs, everything. The liver, the small intestine, which is 25 feet long. I've studied all of this. I know how digestion works. I know parts of the body that you never even heard of. Hell, I should have gone to medical school, but I didn't. And of course, why do you think I talk about the liver so much? Why? Because I've read all these details. This is why I eat like shit and never get fat. Because I eat smart and I give my body the food that it needs to break down all the bullshit. And that's why I love and promote Shakeology. Because when you make... All of this, a badass mofo. Now, if you've been following me on Snapchat for a while, you already know I keep talking about how I use all these superfoods that I drink every morning in one beautiful scoop, convenient scoop, all these superfood plants, how to make the liver fully to its full capacity. A lot of you don't even use your liver because it's all scarred up. It's all inflamed. It's all like, in my, uh, how do you call it? It's all vitalo. It can't, you can't even use your liver. So when your liver's fucked up, your pancreas is going to suffer and then you don't break down all the bullshit. And then you guys are taking all these pills and all these bullshits. That's why you don't, you don't get to, um, your body won't absorb the vitamins from all the food. And guess what? When your liver's jacked up, it doesn't matter how healthy you're going to eat. You're not going to be absorbing the vitamins and it leads to all this vitamin deficiencies and then you have all these problems, all these skin pro and you get all the, I mean, from skin problems, like, I mean, all this stuff like skin disorders, insomnia, poor coordination, I mean, stress, blood clotting. All this stuff, you know, and I read this book a long time ago, and that's why I summarize this to you. You see all this stuff? All this stuff is telling your body is craving? I get that. I get that with my 42 different superfoods that are put in a convenient scoop. Now, it doesn't matter if I wake up and eat bullshit all day because I got the most powerful nutrients on the planet. Don't get me wrong. I ate good and clean for six months. That way my organs can heal. Also combined with this. But after I allowed them to heal, now my organs can break down all the bullshit you see me eat easier. You got to let yourself first get optimized to that point so you can absorb. Once your organs are optimized, they can do what their job is meant to do. And it's to move down food and digest all the bullshit. Break it down. If you have all the perfect balance of hormones, it will break down all the fats with all the bio and enzymes that your organs can produce. And a lot of you are not producing the right amounts of enzymes to break down all the bullshit that you eat. And it takes, you know, like I said, these plants is what God meant your body to make. Adam and Eve messed it up for us. We're supposed to be waking up in paradise and eating fruits and vegetables all the time. But nope. That's why we're now having all this lack of minerals and all this stuff. But, and that's why all of you are having lots of fat on your bellies because you don't have the proper organs to break it down. So get ready. You're going to learn all this stuff when you become a Get Fit AF client. And uh, all right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, how could I forget to talk about the role of fat? I've learned about what happens when you don't have the proper enzymes that your organs produce to make things happen and the hormones that trigger other things to communicate between the organs. Like, and I like what it says here is that, it, it, I mean, I can't read all this stuff on Snapchat. I'm just going to tell you, most of you don't have the proper amounts of enzymes to break down sugars and all the crap you're eating. You don't have the proper insulin to unlock the cells to allow the fuel from your food to go into the cells to do what it needs to do. So then it just turns into unnecessary fat. And it all gets back to how you don't have a beautiful pancreas either. Most of you have jacked up livers and pancreas. They're not jacked up where you're going to die, but you're not going to be optimized. And when you're, not, when you're not optimized, you get sleepy after meals. You have lots of belly. 
So a lot of you wonder, why do I test my blood? I don't have diabetes. I beat that shit a long time ago. I don't have to be testing, but I test because I love to see where I'm at on a weekly basis of understanding how much enzymes I have. I want to understand if my organs are doing their job at removing sugar, but the liver stores a lot of sugar and that's a good place to store it compared to storing it in your body's blood supply because then your pancreas gets mad when you don't when your when your liver can't hold on to all the sugar as glycogen, your pancreas gets mad and wants to start shooting lots of insulin and that causes fat gain and then you're going to end up on medication and having to inject yourselves. So, do something about your health before it's too late and use my website to sign up. You'll get yourself your package of Shakeology and it's going to just make it way easier to be eating lots of fruits and vegetables compared to you having to do it manually every day because that's what your body craves. This is the stuff, the nutrition your body craves and many of you are not going to be getting it. I mean, guys, there's just so many complex, complex operations that are happening in the body. I mean, you have this 25-foot small intestine that's helping absorb the nutrients and a lot of you are not absorbing nutrients that make your organs do their job. Very complicated to heal all these different parts in there. And then, why do you think a lot of people get appendicitis and all these issues? And, and the next step is the part where it's going to go down to the colon. And guess what? That's why I love Shakeology. Shakeology is helping clean this entire colon tract with all the pre and probiotics, digestive enzymes, and everything in there. You have all these fragile blood vessels that are also connected in there. I mean, there's so much crap going on in our bodies that you don't realize it. And that's why it's very, very awful to be drinking liquor because liquor just destroys all the sensitivity and comp there are people right now sunday every day on here in the real granny valley they're right now getting a portion removed because it's all corroded and they they're like toxins are just leaking into their body because they never took care of themselves it's going to happen to some of you i mean i have over 500 followers it's going to happen to at least 20 percent of you where you're going to get some of this portion messed up. And now you're getting eternal uh, septic because you're getting toxins leaked. This is the part where the shit is supposed to leave your body, but it's getting stuck into your body. It's pretty fucked up. That's why people die. Your own shit can kill you. Your own shit can kill you if it does not properly come. So it's pretty crazy that your own shit can kill you, but it makes sense. Your body's trying to remove all the toxins it can't use. The, the shit, the pesticides that you ate, the crap that you breathe in, it all gets into this final moment of shitting out and pissing out. And when you can't shit it out, blockage, because you were not a healthy motherfucker, that's when you end up dying because you have a freaking, it's called, you go septic or something because there's toxins in your body. And one of the most common forms is when this guy gives out the appendicitis and you don't get to the hospital in time. So are you going to guarantee that the time that you have a problem, are you going to be near the hospital? All because you didn't take care of yourself with a diet high in vegetables? Well, you better be living. Make sure you live right next to a hospital, especially if you don't have a good liver. And it all gets back to a badass liver. If you have a badass liver, all the team players, on he's a, he's a quarterback. All the team players are going to be badass below him because he takes care of. So if you make a badass liver, then everything inside the liver becomes badass. And you can store a lot of carbs and this guy will know how to store over 400 carbs per day. There's about 100 to 150 get stored here, but then he know, has the proper messengers and delivery men to take it and store it around the body, not as fat. He knows how to star, store carbs, not as fat, but he needs to be a badass. That's why a lot of people, they get thin by eating low calorie, low calorie, but they're, not, they're, they're trying to trick their body by starving themselves. Meanwhile, I'm eating almost 300 carbs per day and I never get fat, well, it gets back to I have a badass liver. I prefer carbs over liquor. That's why I hardly drink because when he uh, experiences liquor, he suffers. You like start losing almost 50% capacity of being able to store carbs in your liver. And I use this beautiful plants to have in the very beginning when I now in the very beginning when I was fat, like, you know, unhealthy, diabetic, I use the power of the plants to do sana, sana, colite de rana, sana, sana, colite de rana. Every time I would drink these plants, 
my liver that comes up from the portal vein of the digestive, it comes up here, and then all the plants, just sana sana colita de rana, sana sana colita de rana, sana sana, and then boom, and then the blood, now the liver can clean the blood, and then this goes to your heart, and then from your heart, it goes to your brain. That's why I don't need caffeine anymore. I used to rely on caffeine. If That's why it's crazy, there's a lot of other programs People and all these girls and guys selling all these teas full of caffeine. They drink the tea, the caffeine, the caffeine knows how to bypass the liver. It's like, haha, the liver couldn't clean me and it goes to your brain. That's why they depend on caffeine. I don't. My liver gets all the fat, sees the fat, it could focus on the fat, it burns the fat, it gives me energy because of fat. I don't need caffeine. I'm telling you right now, 90% of Americans have 50% capacity of their liver they're not using it the way it should be and when you don't have that going on you're not going to be able to do the 500 reactions that the liver does when it comes to storing the carbohydrates and breaking them down and also breaking down and using fat to provide energy so tell yourself are you drinking three to five times a week well i know you're (laughs) having issues with your liver. So stop drinking. A lot of people drink to relieve stress, but in reality, you're just sending a numbing signal to your brain because you don't want to feel life anymore. You're like not enjoying life. Only drink on weekends, which means you're only drinking four times a month. That's my advice. I'm only going to drink one or two times a month. That's my- All right, guys, in my last snap, everyone who becomes my Shakeology Get Fit AF client I have a PDF that I will email you that has this or I'll just tell you which book to buy or whatever because at the end of the day, when you read the book and go through it, again, don't be scared that it's lots of pages. It's just pictures. You can read this book literally in one day. But at the end of the day, the doctor who wrote this book says you need to have lots of plants in your life, which Shakeology does. And he says you need lots of minerals so your body can absorb them. I mean, guys, I haven't even gotten to you about the pancreas and the spleen. There's many people right now in RGV losing their spleens and they suffer for the rest of their life. Now they're never going to be able to lose weight or there's all these things. I mean, I I can't go into it because it's going to be long and shit. There's all these other different organs about how your, your urinary tract prepares how to piss out the fat and how it breaks down and pisses out the sugar. When you have healthy adrenal glands, you're going to handle stress very well. And I love that Shakeology addresses the adrenal glands and cortisol and stress. All the effects of stress all comes from what this guy produces, which is cortisol. The kidneys is, I mean, again, a lot of you love drinking liquor, liquor, liquor. Well, that liquor toxin enters these veins and it shrivels it up. You're going to have shitty kidneys. And when you have shitty kidneys, they're not going to do their job. And they do a lot of other things about filtering when you're pissing out all the bullshit. Remember, your body wants to get rid of bullshit through your shit and through your pee. When you fuck up your kidneys, you're just going to be help making your body retain more bullshit. And that's why you're fat. You, have, you feel like shit. I mean, I, again, you're going to learn so much if you want. It talks about why it's so crucial. This is why I eliminate fat fast. I could eat so much bullshit My body's digestive system is super good and fast. All right, now we're on my favorite part. (laughs) It helps with your blood pressure. And when you have awesome blood pressure and healthy organs and healthy life, you have healthy sex life. Damn, all the crucial things in the balls, the testicles, the freaking testosterone producing, the prostate gland. I mean, all the blood that comes from your kidneys goes down and all the, you know, when your liver's doing badass stuff, you have awesome blood flow. Awesome blood flow means you're never going to rely on all that bullshit Viagra and all those dumb medical bullshit advertisements of people. They're trying to advertise all this crap to get boners by taking these pills that they sell at the protein shops and all this crap. Hell no. And the same thing goes for the females. Everything is going to be balanced. You're not going to have, uh, what do you call it, uh, hot flashes. Your hormones are going to be balanced. You're not going to be getting all messed up with hormone crap that girls go through.